This is the first time we're seeing Brandon Jolly since investigators say he threw this powdered substance at his friend's face, severely burning his friend. Take a look. I want to show you. This just happened in court a few minutes ago. This is Jolly appearing for the judge. His bond now set at $30,000. Prosecutors asked that the Clearbrook High School junior be put on house arrest. The judge said no. Jolly is accused of throwing drain declogging powder at his friend's face. And we're about to show you photos of the aftermath, but just a warning here. They are very tough. You might want to look away. This is Brody Morgan on Monday after he rushed home screaming. His mom told us Brody thought Jolly threw salt in his eyes. Brody's mom tried to flush it with water, but it only made it so much worse. So they went to the emergency room. I thought he had rubbed his eyes so hard that he had blacked his eyes because his eyes were black. Like there was, it looked like they were bruised black. It's not, it's scary and, and not fun, but you don't really have time to uh, react, I don't think, for the most part. It was doctors at the emergency room that urged Brody's mother to get the police involved. So now Jolly is charged with injury to a disabled child, which is a felony because Brody is living with autism. Jolly's mother tells us that this whole thing had been an accident. Court documents, though, say Jolly spilled a tube of powder on Brody's shirt. That's what started it, causing Brody to push Jolly. And that's when Jolly threw the powder in Brody's face. Now, the two teens apparently found the powder in a package that they had swiped from a house in Brody's Friendswood neighborhood. Brody could still lose his vision, by the way. We now know he's been transferred to a hospital in Galveston. The burn unit there, well-known and widely respected. Doctors are monitoring him, continuing to treat him. So we'll keep you posted on his condition, but just a scary situation overall.